Hey everybody, it's Paige and welcome to Vlogmas Day 21. Today's video is going to be my everyday makeup routine. I know you guys have been requesting more makeup looks on my channel and trust me, I have got plenty of makeup looks coming very, very soon. I've just been super busy with Vlogmas and I've had so many videos already planned and things have just been crazy and I haven't had time to sit down and film like makeup tutorials or get ready with me's but just stick around until after vlogmas and there will be plenty of them i don't only do hauls i know i've been doing a crap ton of hauls recently but i've just been wanting to share with you guys the amazing deals i've been finding and things like that so i love you all if you're new to my channel don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy we're almost at 50,000 subscribers and that blows my mind that's such a huge milestone and i'm so thankful i love you so much i know i already said that but seriously you guys mean so much to me so let's get into the video okay so as you can see my skin is very broken out at the moment i don't really know what's going on so please ignore that we're just gonna move on past it so the first product that i'm gonna be using is the tarte rainforest of the sea quench hydrating primer i just have this little sample of it that i got in whoops in a play by sephora box and i've been really enjoying it it's a really cool texture it's like a gel and it has like this little blue tint to it it kind of almost feels like aloe or something and it feels so cooling and nice on the skin i like this product a lot because it is winter and it can get a little cold and dry even here in florida so this gives me the perfect amount of moisture for my oily skin because even though i have really oily skin sometimes the winter can cause some crazy things to happen so this gives my skin a nice amount of moisture without being overly moisturizing for foundation i'm using the joa truly yours natural finish foundation drops this is my current favorite foundation i've gotten lots of questions about it i got mine at cvs it's under ten dollars i believe it's either around ten dollars or below and you can always find coupons at cvs so this is such a good foundation like aside from the price i love it and it is like a little dropper kind of thing and it has very it's a very liquidy consistency and i usually use about a full drop of that and i do have the shade natural beige but it is a little bit too dark for me now so i need to go get a new shade and i'm going in with my dampened real techniques miracle complexion sponge and i have been switching between this and the morphe beauty sponge and this is still my favorite i'm just so used to this one it's a lot softer and less dense than the morphe one which i really enjoy but i'm not giving up on the morphe one i don't like hate it or anything i just feel like it's gonna take some more getting used to this foundation has really good coverage but as you can see it didn't completely cover my breakouts around my mouth you can layer this which sometimes i do but on an everyday basis i don't do that just because it definitely makes it look a lot thicker and more noticeable so now i have like a nice even base or at least a lot more even of a base than i had before so now i go into concealer so i use two concealers the first one i go in with is by anastasia beverly hills this is the concealer in the shade 3.0 and it's just this potted concealer i love this so much i got it from tj maxx it is very high coverage like very high coverage so i will usually just put some around my breakouts that need a little bit more coverage and then also a little bit on my nose because i can never get foundation to stay on my nose no matter what i do so now i'm just gonna blend this out with the real techniques sponge then i'm gonna go in with the becca ultimate coverage longwear concealer in the shade cream this is a very thick concealer as well and it has a lot of coverage this is a very light shade so i use this as a highlighting shade and i do only put it here and here because this does crease under my eyes so if i drag it up here and i get too much product up in this area i get major creases and it's not the look that i'm going for i also put a little bit on my chin and then on my forehead like right between my eyebrows and a little bit does go quite a long way and i know it looks absolutely insane right now but once it's blended out it looks a lot better so i start by blending it just right in this area and then once it's like mostly blended out, then I'll lightly bring it up my cheekbone just so that I get that brightening effect without layering on like 
lots of product when the whole creasing situation would happen. Okay, so now I'm gonna set my face and to do that, I'm gonna be using the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder in the shade 10 Fair Light. I believe this is the lightest shade and I am just a big fan of a very bright setting powder. So I get quite a bit into the lid of the powder and then I just use my sponge and before I go into the powder, I just quickly run over my under eye area and forehead just to make sure that there's no creasing and then I dip my sponge right into the powder and then start with setting my under eyes and yes, I, lo I lose. I use lots of powder, like a lot, but I have very oily skin and I counteract the dryness from the powder by using lots and lots of setting spray. So that's how I have found my happy medium. I know that it's not going to work for everyone, but with my very oily acne prone skin and my desire to have makeup that lasts all day and doesn't break up on me, this is what I found that I need to do. So I start by setting areas that are most likely to crease and then my most oily areas. <laughs> oh my gosh, I literally look insane right now. I look like Demi Lovato does in the movie Camp Rock when she splashes flour all over her face to hide from Shane Gray. <laughs> Love that movie, I haven't seen that one in a while. So now that I have all of the important areas covered, I literally just realized that I got all my stuff set up, but I didn't even bring my dang brushes over here. Okay, so to set the rest of my face, I go in with the BH Cosmetics 125 brush and I go right into the lid with the powder that's left in here. And then now I start with the areas that don't have powder on them and I set those areas first. And then once I have at least some powder covering every single part of my entire face, and then I go in and I start knocking off the excess powder that I placed with my sponge. Okay, so now that we are nice and set in place, I'm gonna go in with the Hydrating Facial Mist from Dirty Works. I don't love this, and it's not something that I would necessarily recommend. It was $4.99 at Marshalls, and I'm going to set my face. It's not terrible, it's just the only ingredients are water and nitrogen, but I don't know, the sprayer on it, it just you, it makes your face too wet. like. The, it, it's almost like you're spraying your face with a hose and it takes a long time for it to dry, but it still gets the job done. So that's why I still use it. Okay, so now that my skin is pretty much dry, I'm gonna go in with the Wet n Wild Contouring Palette in the shade Dulce de Leche. And I'm going to use this contouring shade and then I'm gonna use the Morphe E4 brush from the James Charles brush set. And I'm just going to bronze slash contour. I don't really go for any crazy like harsh contour or chisel on the everyday, but I do like to bring some dimension and color back into my face. So now I'm getting on with blush. I'm gonna use another Wet n Wild product. This is the Wet n Wild Color Icon Blush in the shade Rose Champagne. And this is a really pretty nude blush and it does have like a satiny kind of finish with like a slight gold glitter in it. So I'm gonna grab another E4 brush and I'm gonna go ham in this powder because I can. <laughs> it's not like insanely pigmented and it's not like a super deep color or anything like that. So I feel like you really can't put too much of this on. This blush definitely wouldn't work for someone with a skin tone that's really any deeper than mine. I feel like it just wouldn't show up, but if you have my skin tone or lighter, I think that this is an amazing blush. Wet n Wild does make other blushes though that are deeper and look really pretty on deeper skin tones. And these are so cheap, which you can't really go wrong. I think these are like $3 or something like that. And then I'm gonna take a break from the face and move on to eyes. So I'm gonna zoom you in a little bit. So for eyes, I keep it pretty dang simple on the everyday. I pretty much do the same exact routine if I'm doing like more of like a full glam look as far as like my foundation and stuff goes. The only thing I really change is my eye look. So for today, I'm gonna go in with the uh, Jeffree Star Thirsty Palette. I love this palette so much. And I'm gonna go in with just a fluffy brush. So, I mean, I guess I can use this one. This is the M433, and I'm gonna go in with the shade Parched, which is this nude shade right here, and I'm just going to set my eyelid because 
I don't know if I don't then I get these weird like creases up in here of like concealer and foundation <laughs> and it's not a good look so I like to set my eyelid my entire eyelid with the shade you literally don't get any color payoff at least on my skin tone it's like the same exact color so this just makes sure that the eyelids are no longer wet and then I'm gonna go in with this brush which is the same exact brush M433 <laughs> but this one has the shade subtle on it already so I'm just gonna use that brush and then I go in with subtle and just lightly run this through the crease just to create a little bit more dimension okay and now I'm actually gonna go into my highlighter which is the morphe high impact highlighter in the shade lit this looks extremely yellow but it looks beautiful on the skin so I'm just gonna go in with it with this eco tools pencil brush I don't know any pencil brush would work I just really like this one I've had this one for like ever and I go into the highlighter and I pop that on the inner corner as well as the brow bone just to kind of like I don't know brighten up the eye kind of lift the eye a little bit and I am gonna use this same shade on my face and I feel like using the same highlighter on your cheekbones as your like brow bone and inner corner highlight really makes the look very cohesive and I, I mean not like natural but I don't know I just feel like it looks a lot better it with any look every day or glam that's like something that I love absolutely love to do although I do that almost every time I do my makeup and now I'm gonna go in with the M501 which is the highlighting brush and pop this on the cheekbones and basically my entire face because highlighter is my all-time favorite makeup product so for eyebrows, I'm going to use the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil in the shade 3, and I am going to kind of comb through. I'm not very good at doing brows, so don't watch too closely and don't take notes on this. Definitely go check out someone else's channel for brow tips. I literally, I used to not even do my brows because I didn't think I had to because I had very dark, full brows already, but I, I understand now. Now I'm going to set my eyebrows in place with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel. This is my all-time favorite brow gel. It holds my eyebrows in place. I really need to trim my eyebrows, by the way. They are way too long. Okay, so for mascara, I'm going in with the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. I love this mascara. It is very volumizing. I'm definitely a volume over length kind of gal. I just, I don't know. I just feel like voluminous lashes look better on me than long, skinny eyelashes. And then for lips, I'm going in with the Morphe Liquid Lipstick in the shade Virgin. This is my everyday lip color. All-time favorite nude. I, I know I've only been using this for a couple weeks now. Maybe not even two weeks, but it's my favorite. It, I... I can't get enough of it. I am obsessed. I will say it's definitely not the most long-lasting lipstick I've ever worn in my life. I, would, I wore this to the movies last night and I had popcorn and when I left it was completely gone. But it's such a beautiful shade and it smells amazing and it doesn't get all dry and cracky and weird and as long as you're not eating like butter or greasy popcorn then you should be fine and it should last for a very reasonable amount of time and then to finish off the look I'm going to set my face again and I'm gonna try to not get everything around me soaking wet you do have to be careful when you set your face with setting spray after you've applied the better than sex mascara because I have noticed that that kind of like re-wets it and if you open your eyes too wide immediately after setting your face then you can also get some transferring there too but once that dries you should be good for the rest of the day so that was my everyday makeup routine I hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you did don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up I love you guys so much I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next one. Bye!